Yum, yum! Hey everybody, uh, this is just kind of a little bit of a teaser for something that I'm going to be working on uh, coming up here, another uh, upcoming episode. Uh, there's been discussion in the forum about Modo's sculpting tools, and, uh, and there's a bit of... Uh, a bit of issues people were having with getting um, higher polygon counts and still being able to sculpt and uh, and getting any kind of decent performance. Um, and so I had been doing a few tests. I uh, just wanted to see if I could confirm what I had kind of believed in my head that I was getting, uh, which was sculpting on you know 10 to 15 million polys without much of an issue. Um, and so I, I just did a you know this is just a quad ball sphere subdivided, uh, yada yada. Um, and I just wanted to kind of show, so here we are, I'm taking, I can sculpt over here. And you can see when the when the meter is actually moving, it's hanging in the kind of mid-20s, somewhere thereabout. Uh, it's, it goes a little higher when I'm not recording. The screen cap is eating into my performance a little bit, so it's usually a little bit more smooth. So, you know, sculpting back there, no problem. Let's come up and get a... Uh, um, a little bit more complicated brush, so it's doing a different kind of stroke. You know, great. Um, and it's all working, and usually um, as I'm sculpting with the meter on here, which I'm going to turn off so it's out of the way, um, you know, I'm getting it around the, around 30, uh, 30 frames per second. Uh, higher if I go on lower subdivision levels, um, but with this right now here, if I take this and zoom out, you can see the portion of this that I'm actually zoom. Uh, or that I'm working on here is like really, really small. It's just this little tiny uh, bit of this sphere. And just to make sure it wasn't because I was only sculpting on a little, I just went and kind of doodled all around the sphere just to see um, if it was still working at a decent rate. And it uh, was uh, just maneuvering and working around, getting really, really high frame rates, well over uh, 100 frames per second, and then sculpting, uh, depending on the uh, the type of brush, the uh, type of mark that I'm making, and the uh, the subdivision level, I'm ranging between 20 and 40 frames per second on sculpting. Um, and this right now, you can see here, if you look in the bottom right, this is uh, nearly 64 million polygons. Um, and it's really, you know, kind of working pretty much without a hitch. And again, I'm screen capping right now, so my performance has dropped off a little bit. Uh, this is on a GTX 1060 with a 6-core i7, um, 5820K, 32 gigs of RAM, and Moto is installed on an SSD. Not a particularly fast SSD, just an SSD. Um, I'm running Windows 10. So um, I did a test over on my older Mac Pro, which I don't have uh, Camtasia set up on, but... Uh, was getting uh, somewhere in the range of 10 to 12 million polygons with you know similar results. I tried pushing it up to closer to 20 and it started to break down. That system only has 12 gigs of RAM. It's an older quad-core processor and has something like a Radeon 58. 100 series graphics card so much much lower spec um, and it's running OS 10 so different OS as well but still running you know 10 million polys uh, 12 also pretty easily without any problems um, with the sculpt so um, I'm going to be making a video on just some tips and some things that I noticed this has uh, made me start to get a little bit more uh, introspective with what I'm doing when I am sculpting um, obviously this is just a big ugly doodle but um, so I'm going to do some tips and tricks a short video just to give some ideas of what you can do to be able to get better sculpting performance um, on your own machine. So hopefully that will help everybody out. Um, but for now, that does it for this one. Hopefully, um, if nothing else, it just uh, proves to me a little bit of confirmation that um, you can get some good uh, detail and good results on really high poly counts here inside of Moto. Um, this is an extreme torture test. You don't ever need to go 60 million polygons. I don't think that's something that you would ever need to really sculpt on. Um, if you do, you could break it down in other ways in order to get the kind of performance that you need. Um, but definitely in the 10 to 20 million, you should be totally fine. Uh, so I'm going to put together some tips and tricks for you guys. Um, that does it for this one. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Yum, yum!